Hey, welcome to Southside United Time for Kids. Great to see you, isn't it? It's great to have the sun out lately. It's starting to get warm, isn't it? A bit cold in here at the moment, but I'm sure it will warm up as the day goes on. Hope you're having a great time. <gasps> day off today. What have you been doing with your day off? Hope you're having lots of fun. That's if you're watching this on Wednesday anyway. <gasps> well, this is land God created. A long time he entrusted that land to the, this land, to the Yagra and the Turbul people. So we pay our respects to elders past, present and emerging. We seek to look after God's land as they have looked after God's land. <gasps> God loves us. And our prayer reminds us that God loves us. You want to stand up, ready? From the top of my head to the tips of my toes, from the lobes of my ears to the end of my nose, from my back to my front to my wiggly fingers, God loves me. Yay. God's love is so wonderful. He's like the best superhero. Let's sing about being a superhero. Jesus is our superhero. Another superhero, Super Grover. He's not Super Grover today, but he's a Super Grover to us. Let's call out. Ready? One, two, three. Grover! Hi, Richard. Oh, Grover, what have you? Oh, I've, been, I've just been, I've been packing. You've been packing? Yeah, I'm going on a road trip and I'm trying to pack everything I need. Oh, that's a good idea, Grover. Go, what, what have you packed? How about we just put this down? What, what have you packed in there? Oh, lots of stuff in there. Oh, well, I've got my scuba gear. Yep. I've got, I've got long pants and short pants and my blender and my stove and my rubber boots, my winter boots, my computer, my pots and pans, my pyjamas, my bicycle, my scooter. Grover, Grover. Uh, I've, I've got more. Okay. It sounds like you're trying to take everything on your trip. Oh, that's what my mum said. She, she told me I could only take one bag. Oh, 
How am I going to take it all in one bag? There's so much stuff. Um, you know, Grover, I think the Bible reading for this week might help you out. Oh, oh okay, well, well, let's hear it. Well, today's Bible story, Jesus is sending out 70 disciples. Oh, 70? Well, they're all going to cram on one donkey. That's going to be really squishy. No, no, Grover, they're not going on a donkey. There's no donkey. This is a walking trip. Oh, are you going to have to carry big, heavy backpacks then? Oh, ruff, 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 ruff. Uh, actually, Graven, Jesus told these disciples not to carry any bags with them. Oh, well, where are they going to keep their clothes and their shoes and their coffee machines? And Well, they won't take any shoes or extra clothes. And they won't pack any food or bring any money. Um... Uh, Richard, are you sure you've got the right story? Because if Jesus told his disciples not to pack any clothes or food or money, what did Jesus tell his disciples to bring with them? <gasps> Just one thing. Can you guess what it was, Grover? Uh, oh, a Swiss army knife, you know, that one with the screwdriver and the bottle opener and the scissors and the toothpick. And... No, no, Grover, Grover, not a Swiss army knife. Just one thing. And that one thing was peace. Well, I don't think there would be much peace on the trip if you didn't bring a change of socks and underwear. Oh, you smell, oh, you smell worse. Oh, you're stinky. Uh, Grover, <clears throat> the trip that the disciples were going to make was they were going to tell people about God's love and that God's kingdom was open to all people. Oh, well, I guess when the disciples shared that message of God's love and peace to people on their trip, oh, they trusted that God would open people's hearts and their homes and the people would welcome the disciples into their homes and offer them food and shelter. That's right, Grover. Oh, you know, Richard, I, I probably don't need to take so much stuff on my trip. And I'll just weigh me down and I'll be grumpy with the family and friends and I'll worry the whole time that I'll forget something and leave something behind. That's why Jesus told his friends, to take with them only what was essential. Oh, that's peace! Yeah, and, and love. Oh, And maybe my toothbrush? You could do that, Grover. Oh, that sounds good. So they went out to share with others. They went out to share God's love. They went out to shine their light. They went out to shine their light. This little light of mine, he was going to sing. Oh, shush, Richard, let's sing. 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 his followers, that as they went out, just to trust others, to go out to share God's message, and as they would share God's message, others would look after them and care for them. 
And that's one of our challenges. How do we go and share with others? Trusting that they will look after us. Trusting that they will care for us. Hope you can find someone this week that you can share a little bit about God's love with. Maybe invite them along to Sunday school on Sunday or to brigades or Jaffa or to something that you might go to that might help them to discover a little bit about Jesus. Or maybe you want to watch this video with them. It's up to you. But we need to be sharing that love with everyone. Hope to see you again soon. Bye, everyone.